That's not good. Ready? One, two, three. Welcome, welcome to iHip News, where Pumps and I share our opinion about the news that is important to us. And today, I would like to discuss a convicted felon, Donald Trump, attending a, a black church in Detroit. So he rolls out to uh, the black church in Detroit. <laughs> and as you can see, the congregation here <laughs> appears to be white. There's a close up of this gal getting uh, some photos of um, Trump for her Instagram, I'm sure. And the photographer that was there sent out a tweet. Somebody asked him, like, what was the breakdown? And um, basically, he said it was 50-50 split at best. Of the eight black Trump voters I talked to, just one of them was from Detroit and zero were congregants. <laughs> so basically, this is a typical, typical. Trumpian scam. And he is further marginalizing a marginalized group and going to their churches and trying to um, create this whole aura because the people standing behind him were, in fact, black that apparently are not from Detroit, nor congregants of that church. So he's brought them in. And then the audience are these, I'm sure, these same crazy Trumpers that probably follow him around everywhere he goes. I see that and I just think he is a fraud. Everything he touches is a fraud. You know, he's got the fraud case against the Trump organization, the fraud case of him personally to the tune of $368 million. This man is nothing short of a fraud. I mean, we could go on and on. Trump University, Trump Steaks, Trump Vodka, all of it is fraud, 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 fraud. So this is exactly in that vein. Right. And this is even more insidious because he is trying to appear that he is a uh, partner in the black community, that he wants to help lift them up. And he goes to the heart of the black community, which is a black church. But the whole thing is a scam. And he uses everybody and everything around him for his own personal benefit. And he's surrounded by a group of psychopaths that endorse him doing this. It, he is on the record for decades of being a racist. Yes. Um, not to mention that the apprentice NDAs are starting to expire. And he used the N-word as frequently as the two of us Oklahomans use the word y'all. And it's just so insulting. So insulting. To the black community that he rolls out to one of their churches with his crazy rube white followers. It's it's really appalling that he sits around and thinks that he would have anything to offer the black community given in his history of racism. And then for him to have the balls to say he's done more for black people than Abraham Lincoln, it just it's disgusting. It's it's so disgusting. And what's more disgusting is the amount of people that go along with these provable lies. Mm -hmm. But just to show you what an abject hypocrite this convicted felon and all the sycophants are surrounding him, immediately after leaving the black church, he rolls out to Turning Point USA. There he is. Turning Point USA is a full-blown Christian nationalist organization, and um, Charlie Kirk was putting on this shindig, and they rolled out a flag because, you know, all these MAGA people love flags. <sighs> so we go from the black church to the white boy summer, and it's just amazing how little convicted felon Donald Trump gets called out on this breathtaking hypocrisy. He rarely gets called out for it. If any Democratic politician did this type of duplicitous day in their schedule, it would be hammered on every station. And I'm so sick and tired of the Democrats being held to one standard 
and convict the party of convicted felons being held to another standard. Or perhaps maybe they just do so much sadistic, crazy shit all the time, it's hard to cover it. But I believe there is a massive, massive disparity. Um, Charlie Kirk, speaking of racism, he... um, Biden-Harris sent out a tweet that said top Trump advocate Charlie Kirk endorses the Project 2025 plan to round up Latinos in mass detention camps, get immigrants out of my country, adios, I want my culture back. Charlie Kirk, of course, retweets it and writes, fully endorse, and 62% of Americans agree with me. This is so racist. So racist. So dangerous. So disgusting. And the Republican Party nominee is out on a stage with this guy with their white boy summer flags, which is basically a modern day KKK rally. Mind you, an hour before Trump is trying to sell his brand of bullshit to the black community. It's just jaw dropping how hypocritical and disgusting these people are. And just a little history on Charlie Kirk. And initially, when he first came on the political scene around 2018, he spoke for a secular government. He spoke that um, Republicans cozying up to evangelicals was too much. It wasn't the right thing. Well, now he's moved the goalposts, of course, like every Trumper has. They have morally moved the goalposts. And now they are fully outspoken racist Mm -hmm. and Christian nationalists. Now, Charlie Kirk is on the record of wanting the United States to be a Christian nation. And anybody who has taken any form of history class knows the United States is a secular nation. That's what it was designed to be. But these crazy religious Bible thumpers are hell bent on making everybody as miserable as they are. And Charlie Kirk is no exception. This guy is completely racist, anti Semitic anti-immigrant. And if they want to round up all of the immigrants in this country, the economy would tank. These people are so stupid that they don't realize the impact that our economy has had these last two to three years. It is in large part due to immigration, legal immigration. What drives me crazy about the Trump and immigration thing is, A, he bombed the bipartisan border bill. That's first. But remember in 2016, when he was campaigning, he kept saying, it's rapists coming in and criminals. That is who is flooding our borders into the United States. And every time I hear that clip, I want to say, you're an adjudicated rapist and an adjudicated criminal. So you're the fucking problem. It just, the white boy summer, at just every fucking day is white boy summer. It is, all of that is just dog whistling. But I think it's important to point out that all of these supposed evangelical Christians or hardcore Catholics that attend the turning point and literally almost cry when they play the national anthem, (laughs) I'm sure. And they just think Trump's so great because he, you know, dry humped an American flag. The principle of your faith should be to lift up immigrants and lift up marginalized people. Here they want to round them up and put them in mass detention camps, and he doesn't even run from it. No. And again, this is just a blip in the news. It is a blip in the news. But if Biden stutters slightly, it's unbelievable how much the press jumps on him. We saw Biden speak in person recently, and he absolutely, positively is older, but he absolutely positively does not have a mental decline. No, he's very in control, very cognitively with it. And I just want to leave you with how overt racism in the MAGA party has become. It is so overtly racist. I want to leave you with Trump's BFF, Charlie Kirk, saying the following. And I feel better now. Thank you. No, I mean, like, you want to go thought crime? Like, I'm sorry. If I see a black pilot, I'm going to be like, boy, I hope he's qualified. What shocks me about all this is the they are so emboldened to be racist out loud and are not even remotely embarrassed, I guess, or have no concept of how demeaning that is. 
it's amazing what this guy gets away with, how duplicitous he is to go from a black church to act like here, I am a champion for black rights. I'm a champion for black people. I am in your church. I'm at the heart and soul of your community. Peace out, guys. Hey, what's up, Charlie Kirk? Yeah, I don't like black pilots either. Are you fucking kidding me? Right. Where's the outrage? It's just a nonstop outrage parade. But if Biden stutters ever so slightly, the Daily Mail, Fox News, Sean Hannity, Laura Ingram, and they they're fine with all of this because they are religious hypocrites to their core. Every last one of them. All right. Stick with us for more hot takes. It's so-